Okay, so I am back with another homeschool tip with a resource that I found so helpful. So um, again, like when I first started doing homeschool, it was around COVID. So I had some trouble getting to libraries and things like that. So I was trying to find an online resource that could provide us with a wide range of books that we would be able to read um, low cost or just no cost. That's actually how I really started was no cost. And I did find a couple few a few books that we were able to download onto the computer and just read. But I really wanted a wide range of reading material um, just because that's that's an interest of mine. I love reading. I love teaching kids how to read and things like that. So um, I was having a little issue doing so. But then I ran into this excellent site. It's called getepic.com. And it's actually an app that you can also download onto any type of device. I actually downloaded onto her tablet. And I can show you that in just a moment. Let me actually log into this. Okay, so um, you can all you can explore any topic that you want, depending on what you want the child to learn. You can also do it. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How do I get to the filter? Let me let me go back here. So just say you wanted to read about that. Once you find your topic, you can do your filter, and so it will go by age. Let me see if you can see it age level grade level when pertaining to reading fiction nonfiction, format and languages if you want to have your child read a different language or learn a different language so i thought that was great another cool thing i love about this is that they have read to me options uh, this option right here was one of the main reasons why her reading skills are so strong right now because um, with the books constantly reading to her let me give an example so if we let me go to one that she has and uh, let's see is this a different one okay great so when you start reading oh. lunar pro at work it is October 2009, a NASA lunar probe. So as you see, it would highlight the words as uh, the student is reading, which will allow them to get that visual and that sound. So they're able to pronounce the words right. They're building their vocabulary skills and then just in general, strengthening their reading skills. So I found that so useful. I can say that that was one of the main reasons why um, her reading level just kind of skyrocketed because she was able to see it. You know, even after, like, even if I were to read to her with a book that wasn't a read to me book, let me turn that back on. You know, just having that visual was so important and it definitely helped strengthen her uh, reading skills. So another great uh, thing that I love about this is when you go to their portfolio, it tells how many books that they read. Um, they do have different levels for the children to uh, get to and they also have different badges um, like whenever she you know normally I have her read for 30 minutes so I know one of the badges was reading for uh, I believe what 10 minutes I think that's a 10 minute badge and so she you know when her she first completed her 10 minutes you know it provided a badge for her which was very interactive and fun for the children and another thing that I do enjoy about uh, this is the reading log uh, when I had first started, I would write down each and every book just to make sure that we had a reading log. But now we have a digital reading log, so I don't have to worry about doing that. And it also shows if the child has completed. So this is the book that I had just clicked on. Um, as you see, this is a book that you know we had completed. But this is a book that I had just clicked on, and it doesn't show that it's completed. But when it is completed, oops you'll get that red sticker up there. So just ensuring that the child is actually reading the books is so important as well. Um, just to make sure that they are getting it. So these are just books that I was just clicking on and of course there's not completed because we had just started it. So I'm glad that um, you know you were able to see that difference of it being completed and of course not completed at all. And so it goes by the date date range goes by week. So you can actually go all the way back as needed just to see the reading log, which I feel is so important. And you can also actually print that out just so that you can have a hard copy 
of the reading materials. Another thing that I do like about it is you can add books onto favorites, you can add books into your bookmark, and you can also assign books to the students so that they're, um, you know, if you have like a lesson plan of any sort, you can just put them all in a collection and they can uh, just read the books as is and they can complete it. You can see if it's completed. And yeah, I think it's a great resource. Um, like I said, mainly because, mainly because the strength in the reading skills, that's what I found. Um, it really did help strengthen her, her reading skills as a student. So I would recommend getting at, Get Epic. Now, mind you, it is $10 a month, but I it is so worth the money because, you know, it, it's, it is about the our children's education, which is very important. And reading skills are very important so they have the proper vocabulary. They're able to articulate things very well and just all around know these different words. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that tip and that's it for today.